But Giancarlo Esposito was talking about a Breaking Bad spin-off with Gustavo Fring, El Pollero, the Chicken Man, whatever you want to call him, the Kingpin of Albuquerque, New Mexico. And I want to talk about it because I love Breaking Bad, bro. I love Breaking Bad. It's my favorite show of all time. I mean, it's tied there with The Office, Cobra Kai. But when it comes to drama specifically, Breaking Bad takes it to another level. Even till this day, when I re binge Breaking Bad, even when I rewatch it now, that tension is just another level. And I gotta say, the peak of Breaking Bad was season four. The whole Gus versus Walter whole rivalry, it ends. There's so much tension, especially that scene or that, those scenes where Walter's trying to kill Gus. He puts a bomb in his car, nothing's working. And it led to that iconic scene where Gus just walks out after an explosion and half his face is burnt off to show his two-facedness. And then he just like, just moves his tie a bit. That's Gus Fring is one of the best television. If not, honestly, you know what? I'm going to say the hot take. Gus Fring is the best television villain of all time. And this even includes Walter. Because Walter did become a villain. And even I still say Gus is the best TV villain of all time. And I mean all television, at least to me. Movie-wise, probably not. I think I'd still give that to Heath Ledger's Joker. But Giancarlo Esposito amazing he made me think he was actually hispanic i'm not joking when i first knew about giancarlo it was from breaking bad and i was like is he hispanic because obviously in the show he's chileno i found out that he actually has a lot a lot in his ethnicity i think he's half italian which explains the name because when i first heard his name i was like oh he definitely has to be hispanic and i saw his name he's italian and he i think he's half from denmark and I believe he was born in New York, something like that. But anyways, he was talking about in some interview or something about a potential Breaking Bad spinoff, a prequel about the origins of Gus. And I've always said this, look, I love Better Call Saul. I might even argue that Better Call Saul is on the same level as Breaking Bad. That's how I think. Let's honestly, 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 Better Call Saul is the best spinoff to anything ever. Because I don't think I've ever seen a spinoff truly be as good as what Better Call Saul was able to accomplish. I mean, technically, I love the Guardians of the Galaxy. Technically, you can see that as a spinoff in the MCU. Technically, everything in the MCU was a spinoff outside of Iron Man. Te technically, technically. Even the Avengers movies, I guess. But no one labels the MCU kind of like that. They just label it as connected universe. But anyways, Better Call Saul was amazing. Seeing Giancarlo in the role, again, was great. So we've seen him come back as a younger version. But to see a origin of Gus, I will say my worries first. My worries would be, number one... I, by the way, I have no doubt that Vince Gilligan would make an amazing show. He already proved it with Better Call Saul. If you had said years ago that the funny lawyer from Breaking Bad was going to get a spinoff, no one, and I mean no one, no one, no one, no one, no one would have ever expected it to even be in the conversation of potentially being as good as Breaking Bad. No one. But yet it did. And yet it did. Better Call Saul was that great. And honestly, I'll say this right now, Saul Goodman's my favorite character in that entire universe. But... I have no doubt that this show would be great. My only concern would be if you do a prequel about the origins of Gus, the origins of Los Pollos Hermanos, I'm all up for it. And honestly, I'll say this right now, out of any spinoff that could make him Breaking Bad, which at this point, I don't know what else you can do. The only one that really would get me right there day one would be the origins of Gustavo Fring. I would love to see that. I would love, 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 love to see that. The only question is... How are they going to de-age Giancarlo? And if they do, I have no doubt they'll get the budget for it because it's Breaking Bad. You're not going to not want a Breaking Bad. I guarantee you AMC for the last few years has been telling Vince Gillian, hey, get back there. We need you back, bro. We need you back. Because he's, he's done it back to back. It's not a fluke. He's done it back to back. The only question that I got to ask is how are you going to make him look younger? And if you aren't going to make him look younger, it's going to feel weird because even in Better Call Saul, they were kind of pushing it because it's, uh, uh, it's just me. It's noticeable. He is much older in Better Call Saul than he is in Breaking Bad. It's much no more noticeable. He's more overweight. His hair, look, you, you see the grays a lot more. His wrinkles are more in his face. Like, this ain't no disrespect. He still looks handsome. He still looks good for his age. I don't know how old he is. He still looks good for his age. But he was kind of pushing it. He, he was kind of pushing it. Because when you look at Gus in Breaking Bad, and you look at Gus in Better Call Saul, in Breaking Bad, even though he's, he already had the gray hairs, he still looked young so that when he was, like, doing his normal stuff, he looked innocent. 
in Better Call Saul, you didn't really feel that. In Better Call Saul, he did give that nice persona, that innocent persona. But it was like, it, it's, he just looked too old to look like this was a prequel version. It looked like a prequel version. So imagine just going all the way back. Not only that, but in Breaking Bad, you've already had a prequel to Gus. Like you had that scene where he first meets Hector Salamanca, when he first meets Don Eladio, when he meets those two. He looks much younger. His hair is completely pitch black dark. So I don't know how they're going to do it. Now, the other thing is, are they going to get a new actor to play Giancarlo? Or not Giancarlo, but Gus Fring. I'd be fine with that. The only thing I'll say, though, is that a large reason why Gus is such a loved, such a feared villain was the acting on Giancarlo Esposito. Come on, let's be honest. Giancarlo Esposito, look at what his career happened after that. He boomed. I guarantee you he can walk into any room and say, I'm going to play the villain, and he'll get that role. He was in a video game, I believe. I, I never played this game, Far Cry, apparently. I know that's where the meme came where he was laughing and he stopped laughing. He was in The Boys, Mandalorian, and I guarantee you he could go to Marvel right now and say, hey, I want to play Doctor Doom, and they'll give it to him, which honestly, I'm not up for race swaps, but if you were to give that role to Giancarlo Esposito, just with his voice alone, bro, I'm all in. All I'm all in. I don't look. I don't like race swaps, but Doctor Doom's the greatest villain of all time, and being played by the best television villain of all time, you got me in. You can't even tell me his voice doesn't sound like like a um like a a Doctor Doom type. And DC, if he was to go in and play Lex Luthor, even though again, like I said, I'm against race swaps. You tell me that he goes in there to play Lex Luthor, which is, he's not because I already casted Lex Luthor. If you're telling me that he would play Lex Luthor, bro, I'm all in. John Carlos Pacito is the only man that can get me to change my mind on race swaps. At least with villains. With heroes, I don't know. I, I've never seen John Carlo play a good guy at all. But look, I'm all in. John Carlo, whatever he wants, I'm all in. I know. By the way, this doesn't confirm anything. They didn't say they were officially going to green like this. It's just that my only concern would be the aging stuff. And if someone could be as good as Giancarlo. Now, I have a little bit of a suggestion. If you want to keep Giancarlo and play him as Gus, here's what I would do. Cast a new actor. Someone who gives you that Giancarlo vibe. Someone who can give you that vibe of this is truly a young Giancarlo. Some people have been saying that they should get the young guy who played him in The Boys. Sure. Let's get him. Or whatever. I don't know. There has to be at least one guy that can do the role like him. Get him. Let him play. And what you can do is, in order to have Giancarlo show up, you could have, like, scenes of, like, a flash forward where it shows you the time in 2006. Like, what Breaking Bad, I believe, took place between 2008 and 2010. And I believe Better Call Saul took place in 2005, 2006. I, I believe... So, I would have like flash forward scenes, maybe even start off the show by saying this is my origin, this is my story. And I know some people, I've seen people argue that they shouldn't do a origin story just because his life being mysterious kind of is the appeal. I disagree. When I watched those flashbacks, all I kept thinking was I would, I would love to see how this guy from Chile somehow rose up to the top where he was able to manipulate the cartel. He was able to manipulate cartel leaders to fight one another. He was able to manipulate all these people and somehow make millions. Because that was one interesting part in Breaking Bad was when Hank kind of glimpses over like, hey, you're from Chile. How come we can't find records of what happened in Chile? I would love to. And even every time he Gus would mention his past a little bit, it just got me interested. It got me interested enough to where I'm like, dude, I want that show. I get the mystery aspect feels cool. But wouldn't it be cooler to see what that mystery was, to see what it all was? And not only that, but if you show how evil he was in the past, or you could see what caused him little by little to see how evil he is, that would be very interesting. And that's kind of the whole premise of Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. You see this normal dude slowly, little by little, become more and more evil, more corrupted. Walter was a random chemistry teacher. Now all of a sudden he's a kingpin of, of Albuquerque. You know, he was in the empire business. Most wanted man in America for months. Somehow he escaped the police for months. Better call Saul. Saul Goodman. Saul Goodman was a struggling lawyer who before nearly ended up being on the sex offender list. All of a sudden, he's this millionaire. I'm pretty sure you say it as a millionaire. He was a millionaire lawyer who was able to, to make money off of dirty money. And I love that. And you saw that little by little. I think you could do that with 
with Gus. Maybe sure at the beginning, Gus was like this normal dude who truly wanted to do good, truly wanted to do well. But little by little, you see that the world's more corrupted, 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 that it made him corrupt. That's the whole reason why Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul is so popular, because it gives you the story of these simple people. And it starts relating you to these characters so that when you see them break bad, it gets you to be like, man, I'm all in for it. But at the same time, you're like, please don't do this. Like with Saul and Walter, that's the whole premise. It's like they they ended up being so bad that it's just, I don't know. And also, if you want to get some woke brownie points, if you want to get some woke brownie points, Gus is black and gay. <laughs> He's black and gay. Also, you could also show that side, show him trying to find romance. And maybe see him, you know, see him meet that one guy that got killed off in, by Hector. Maybe show up, imagine if you were able to do that. You show him and that one Chileno dude, or I think, he, I don't know if he was Mexican or Chileno, but you have that dude show their relationship so that every time you see them together being happy, bro, then that second <laughs> that, that Hector kills him, that will feel more impactful. So I'm all in for it, bro. I'm all in for it. That's just my thoughts. You guys let me know in the comments what you think. I don't do movie news. I don't do show coverage. But for this perp, for this thing, honestly, this is my dream show. My only concern would be, how are you going to get someone to emulate Giancarlo Esposito? But we've seen this countless of times. I remember I said the same thing about Joaquin Phoenix and Jared Leto. I was like, how, how are they going to emulate Heath Ledger's? And what I liked is that it was actually different. Like, Joaquin Phoenix was a different Joker. Jared Leto, I don't hate his Joker, but, you know, let, let me ignore him. Let me ignore him. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.